MuseMath was an experiment in e-learning using flash animation, replaced by video now. This is pretty much how the website launched on uh, May 6th, 2003. Uh, things have changed. CRTs are gone. Uh, Dial-up is gone. Resolution is higher, etc. Uh, but still, this gives a pretty good idea what it looked like. The buttons gave viewers choices. It let them uh, learn at their own pace. And here's where the MuseMath name came from. It's a quote from James Joyce. One important feature was a duplicate set of animations, which you could resize in a new window, uh, similar to pinch zoom on today's uh, smartphones. And you could make some comparisons one next to the other. There was never any audio. That would have been uh, too much file size for the, for the day. Internet Archive Wayback Machine kept records of some of this starting in September of 2003. However, they couldn't capture Flash animation back then. They did capture the objectives, which gives some of the reasons Flash was a good platform at the time. I was using 56K dial-up like most of my audience. Here's a few ideas from just before the website was launched and I was just learning Flash. The one in the upper left was buried and forgotten for seven years, but then it uh, fit the Fourier description perfectly. The actual physical motions are often too small to be seen, and that's why you need the math. Uh, some of these early animations might be a little closer to the truth, but they don't seem to convey the needed understanding. The yellow got to be too glaring. Uh, you want to watch the date on these Wayback captures. Eventually, I dated everything exactly. In 2005, I started experimenting with code. That led to need for more math. I never got very good at either, actually. Now here's a tutorial I made just before the iPad came out and pretty much signaled an end to the MuseMath website. Still, there was a lot of momentum behind it all, so that was going to take a few more years. And this is from 2013. The website's been optimized and simplified. Still, its purpose can be better served by YouTube and uh, social networks. These were the research pages. Uh, probably the most important one was the tuning history. And uh, this paragraph is probably the most important. Now, this is the links page. Uh, I want to point out two that were flash based. This is uh, Joe Wolf's uh, Fizz Clips. I understand that's going to be updated to HTML5 very shortly. And here's the license. This is another flash based website. This one from David Harrison. Uh, he did his work about a year before mine. I still think this is a really nice animation. And here is his license. It's Creative Commons, a non-commercial, share alike, attributive. And this page explains MuseMath as an experiment using uh, animation and more recently video to promote universal e-learning. Uh, with the caveat that I'm not a professional in the business. By 2013, the homepage prioritized the video channels. Here are the current versions. Uh, FretMath is specifically about guitar, and GridMath is uh, an originally an idea for a math app. The playlists are video collections of the works of others. A few of the final animations for the MuseMath website. These were all optimized per Adobe guidelines as best as I could do. And the Apple interface guidelines helped to make it all uh, look a lot better, helped improve everything. Uh, this one is very similar to the Harrison animation with some color options and a few more phases added in so as to allow uh, me to explore more complex motion. The button interaction provided a few more tools which allow the viewer to learn it at their own pace and a feature which is limited on videos. Uh, the math animations were marked legacy. There had been a lot of work in them. Uh, for instance, here's one on symbols. But the audience for them was now disappearing. Uh, I had enjoyed making them. Here's one uh, relating video editing to infinite series. Uh, but the only thing left now is an idea or two on uh, the grid math channel. I'll show you that next. Uh, here is the GridMath YouTube channel. Uh, this one hasn't gotten many uh, views, but it's the one I'm most interested in. Uh, exactly what I expect to get out of this, I'm not sure. The blue rectangle is a continued fraction rectangle. The grid is variable, and the rectangle is variable. Getting back to MuseMath, I started making the source files, the FLA files, available in September 2006 under these terms. The output animations had been made available since 2004. After the iPad came out in uh, April 2010, the mobile evolution began in earnest. These are some design notes I made during that uh, period. 
Uh, there was a lot more, but Steve Jobs' thoughts on Flash and the Apple guidelines were very important. Uh, there were some issues with screen resolution and how to design for the large number of new devices which came out every week, each with their own operating system or individualized version of an existing platform. I used the book uh, What is Mathematics by Corant and Robbins as a foundation for the math. Uh, it might be a little bit out of date, but then uh, so am I. I had a separate research page on copyright. I had found it all uh, of little use except maybe to avoid some of its uh, problems and pitfalls, at least as much as possible. The CCBY license is used on the videos. Uh, I'm not even sure I'm in compliance with that, but that's the intention. And over on the FretMath Music channel, uh, this is my, probably my favorite animation. It uh, kind of speaks for itself, which is the idea. Now, this was the start of it all. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure I believe in all of this, and I'm not sure I did very much good or anything about it. But maybe it's uh, kept me out of some trouble I otherwise might have gotten myself into.